take our work to come make a difference and an impact on you guys' life. How about that? Ain't that pretty cool? Yeah. Leave work. Because why, why, I'm just there, why you leave work, man? You got all that stuff going on? Because I feel like y'all are important. I can do that. I build up so much time to take out to be with y'all. Okay? So just letting y'all know how important not just that piece of y'all eating, but I am to you guys, or how y'all are to me, okay? Know that. Number one, you in the black. I'm already going to say I'm proud of y'all. Anybody want to tell me why? Why y'all think I'm proud of y'all? Give me two people. Everybody ain't got to raise y'all hands and say one. One, one. one reason why y'all think I'm proud of y'all right now. And I don't even know y'all. I just see, I don't, I don't know none of y'all names. Bam, right there. You got my jacket on your thing. Good luck, Sean, right there. Why you think I'm proud? That's good, but that's not why. Come on, let's go. That's good. That's the cheap, cheap. Raise a hand. Everybody else ain't got the hand up, so I give it. Why you think I'm proud of y'all? That's cool. That's cool. Now, let's get out of the classroom thing. Remember, I don't know y'all. Let's get out of the classroom. Why you think? Think of it as a whole of why y'all think that I'm proud of y'all. Y'all very smart. I heard about y'all. There it is. One more time. Hold on. Stand up. Tell your classmates. Why y'all think I'm proud of y'all? Have a seat, man. Stand up. It's okay. Your piece over there. I'm gonna be secure. Yeah, I got. I'm secure. <laughs> Why? He gonna answer y'all. Why y'all think I'm proud of y'all? Tell him, yo, man. We still in school. Did you hear that back there? Did you hear that back there? Y'all give it up for me. Y'all still in school? Okay. I went to. I'm gonna go through my little history real quick. I went to Jack X High School. I graduated. I played basketball. Basketball was my, my my hobby. Basketball was my life. Basketball was my girlfriend. Basketball was my dream. Basketball was what I took a shower with, or was right there in the restroom with. Wherever I went, what went with me? Basketball. I was everything. Basketball meant a lot to me. Basketball was very important. <laughs> Basketball is very important. Let me see. see. Y'all give it up for us to come in class right now. <laughs> okay, basketball is very important. Y'all stay with me. Stay focused. I know the piece of good. Stay with me, y'all in the back. Basketball was my everything. That's all I ever done was play what? Basketball was my what? Everything. Basketball was that. What? Give me everything I just said. Repeat. I want to see that. Basketball was my girlfriend. My girlfriend, girl. You bathe with it. I, my, what I do with it? I bathe with it. Did I say that? Yeah. yeah. I said I was in the shower. I didn't say nothing about no baby. Basketball was somewhere else. Keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> in the restroom with it. Yeah. Basketball was what else? My boy right there. He's going to put the other clothes out of his mouth. <laughs> I come back. Ask the Bible for us in the back. Y'all want to hear from Come on, say one more. What else was basketball to me? Okay, my heart. So, saying that, so y'all know I love basketball. basketball. Exactly. That's all I ever did. Mama, what you, boo, that's my nickname. What you want to be, you grow I want to be a basketball player. NBA. 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 I want to make it because I'm, I'm good. They say I was cold. These coaches looking at me. I'm growing up. I'm making an all-star team. I'm playing on TV. I am the man. Nobody can't hold me. I got the crossover better than Steve or Stephen Curry. Curry. He can't hold me. I got a jump shot better than Stephen. I can dunk better than Michael. Curry. But I thought I had that type of game. That was my brain. That was me. 
So guess what I did? I graduated. Well, let me go back. Before I graduated, we had to take the S A T. You know about that, right? S A T. If you don't know, now you're about to know. And the A C T. So these are these are the, the tests that you have to make. Before, who, who are my sports people? Raise your hand. Okay, we got that's half the class. Good. Now, listen, listen, focus. So, SAT, SAT, right? In order, I talked about, remember all that stuff I done went through, I done talked about 40 some coaches. On the phone, we want you. We call Oregon State, North Carolina, UT, SMU, uh, uh, University of Women's. I had a lot of coaches. But guess what I didn't do? Huh? Y'all heard them? Amen. It's not really passing, but I didn't make the, the score. I didn't make the score. I didn't make the score. So if I did make the score, what do you think happened? What you think? No. Now, look. I didn't make the score to go to that D1 school. So what happened? I had to go where? Home school. Home school? Home school. You didn't school. Man, you go where to make up for it? A junior college, community college. That ain't what you want to do. You want to make the score so you can go where you want to go. go. I did not want to go there, but guess what? I had to. I said, I got game. Maybe the coaches will pick me up from that community college. I'm going to bow. Bow till I bow. This whatever. I ain't make the score. I'm still smart. I think I'm smart. But I'm going to go to this school. Guess what? I went to that school, played for a year. What y'all think happened? Y'all heard that. Huh? Failed again. ain't failed again. I made all that, bro. So I passed my class and that was cool, that was cool. But it wasn't going right. I had started getting arthritis in my leg. Y'all know what arthritis is? No. Yeah, yeah. 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 it hurt. Your bones started to pop. Your bones and went, stuff like that, but it hurt really, really bad. It's a pain. Hope y'all will never experience it. Pain in your joints, it hurt. I was about to cry, I didn't know what it was. And it hurt, it hurt. So guess what, I walked on, I left that school, I went to TSU, y'all heard that raise your right hand. Texas Southern University in the heart of third world. Okay, so y'all heard it. So I went there. I called the coach. I'm getting somewhere, y'all. Y'all, y'all vibe with me. Y'all, y'all vibe with me. Y'all vibe with me. I'm getting somewhere. So I went there, right? I walked on. I played in this maroon and gray. Everybody come to see the new team. We had a new coach. And we had a new team. So I played on it. I made it all the way. Guess what? I went out through Adam Hughes. Made like seven points. Everybody like, oh shit, the coach was like, hey, 30 good, man, you really want you, man, you're, you're really good. I was like, I wanted to tell him I knew that, but I, ain't, I didn't want to show him too much swag, right? Well, I didn't want to give him too much, so I was like, thank you. But guess what, after so many weeks, guess what happened? You know me. You got hurt. You got hurt. Well, okay. It was what? what? What started hurting? You got hurt. Right. Right. Arthritis. And right. it started hurting bad. It's, it was real simple. Hurt me bad. I'm like, why is my legs hurt like this? I can't hardly play defense like I want to. So guess what happened? I got when the, when the list came out. They got this little list. When it's time to pick your team, and I came in there, I was like, man, I know I'm gonna make this team. So when I went over there, and my colleges look thing, I'm looking. I see my partner names on here. My last name starts with a T, so it might be at the bottom, right? Because in alphabetical order. The T is what? Okay, so I'm scrolling. I don't see my name on this list. So what that thing, what that tell y'all? I got what? Cut. What I'm gonna do now? Another, another, get another thing. Huh? No. What I told y'all I did. Listen, who was listening? What did I tell y'all I ever did? Did I ask, did I tell y'all anything else? No, no, so what did they tell y'all? You didn't have anything else. You had to try again. Yeah. You left the college? What you say? Hmm? Yeah, you, you said it. I didn't have nothing else to do. Because I was focused on what? Yeah. And if you focus on one thing, what else is it to do? No. Exactly. So that's what I did was nothing. I didn't know what else to do. After I got cut, I thought that was the end of my career. Yeah. My life. career. Exactly. So what am I saying to you guys for my sports? Because it was half of y'all that raised your hand. Don't let that one sport be the only sport or career in your life. Because stuff can happen. 
telling y'all what I told y'all is very, very true. Everybody that know me, oh yeah, he took that ball everywhere he went. People called the laws in my neighborhood when they heard a basketball dribbling late at night. They heard something, they thought it was gunshots. But it was me out there dribbling the ball. Like man, the laws coming like, what Pokemon's over here for? So, <laughs> basketball, guys. Who in here got more than one goal? Raise your hand and be honest. If you don't, we gonna get some. But before we leave, before you leave this school, you gonna have at least three or four goals. You gonna have a plan. You gonna have a whole roadmap on what. If this don't go, then you got this to back up on. And if this don't go, raise your hand up. You got this to back up on. Don't be like me, cause I ain't know what to do. Put your hand out, back. I see you got your hand up. I didn't know what to do, bro. What's up? I didn't know. I didn't know I was going to be alone. I ain't had no plan. I bet you, some of y'all, who, who got goals on their wall? Raise your hand and be honest. If I walk in your house right now, I'm going to see some goals. Two people. Two people. Everybody in here, if not to have goals, when they walk in their room, I'm going to be this. This is it. This is what I'm achieving. Okay, cool. I got these first two. Now I got seven more to go, but it might take me a year, two or three, but I'm still going to have faith and know that I'm going to make them goals. It took me eight years to get to my last goal. And I still I still got to hope, man, that goal, to get to that goal, I got to come up with it. But guess what? I ain't going to I ain't gonna give up. I'm almost there. Put your goals down. Like, guys, what I do for HPD is I work with homeless people. We call the homeless outreach team. Every day when I go out on the streets, I look at homeless people. I help them. How old are you? I talk to homeless 13 year olds. Who's older than 13? Raise your hand. Everybody 13? Who's younger? <coughs> 11. Who's younger than 11? Who's younger than 11? You ain't no 11, girl. Is you 11? No, she's 11. I am. Oh, girl. talk girl. to me. <laughs> 11 years old to 13. I didn't talk to y'all. Kids, y'all age, homeless on the street. When I said I was proud of y'all, it's reasons why. Because of that. Those guys not in school. Those guys doing drugs. Those guys don't care about life. Those guys went through so much in their life. They didn't have the help. Some people go through so much. Be proud of y'all selves for being in school and y'all parents. My dude over there the with the L. Be proud, right? Be proud, bro. Be proud. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of your parents. Y'all might think this is a small thing because everybody got to go to school. Nah, everybody ain't got to. Some people don't go to school. Some people, parents drop them out and they walk somewhere else. They mama thinking they at school, but they didn't walk to Burger King somewhere. Or they didn't walk to their partner house and play PlayStation. But when their grades come in, what they made? Yeah. Exactly. And then when that happens, what happens after that to keep making all those jobs? They fail. They, fail. they, they fail, and then they drop out. So what happens after that? They, they, they do. Mom is at home, man. Why you ain't going to school? And he or she fussing back to mama. Mama ain't got nothing to do with it. Mama trying her best. Mama got a job. Mama got three or four kids. And all she asks you to do is go well. School. So, to do what? Education. Get education and learn. And eat pizza. <laughs> That's what mama telling y'all to do. I don't know who I got just a parent or no parents or whatever, but y'all in this position to keep going. You know what I'm saying? I got people on the streets that, that friends that didn't even finish school. I got people on the streets that wish now, man, I want to go back. But God, bro, you had all this time. I'm not knocking you. That's cool. Want to go back. But while y'all in this position, take what? Advantage. Advantage. Don't no matter if oh, this teacher get on my nerves. Oh, this teacher, I get tired of Miss Jenkins. She telling me I gotta pull on my pants. Pull your pants up. Mm -hmm. Tie your shoes. Look presentable. Look professional. How you look right now, it's a good impression on your life. You start winning in the blue. You start winning. Nah. You just said, I heard nah. Let me see. You start now. How you look now? If I was to give you an interview right now, 
I'm gonna look at everything. Your smile, I like that. She got some great smile. Okay, I can add that to my team. We need smiles. <laughs> okay, she got eye to eye contact. Got the, everything. Oh, no. dress, dress well. Got shoes. No. Everything is nice. You will probably be high just by your your impression right now. Let me see if I can find somebody. Else. First impression. Got the hoodie on on his head. <laughs> Guess what? My impression, you think I'm gonna hire him? No. What I'm thinking about? What I'm thinking about? What's going through my mind? Keep the one hundred. That person might think that. He a thug. He like Cheeto. You know what I'm saying? He like Cheeto. You know? You know? So I'm gonna hire who first? Exactly. I'm gonna wait on you until you come looking like. My man right here, some slacks or something, but I'm not putting you on glass, I'm just giving you an example, okay? You show us a little bit. I'm just saying, these were people, these were people look for. If you come into an interview, you give them that impression. You don't come paying sagging down, showing you a Looney Tune, <laughs> stuff like that. You come in, let them know, I'm gonna get this job. Put a tie on, you only gonna wear it for what? By, by what? How long? That's it. No, just for that, that little interview ain't going to take about 15, 20, 30 minutes. You take it right back out. And if you want to go home and put your bag out, that's at home. Then do it. But long as it ain't in the streets, I'm just saying, you can do that at home. But when you're in this society these days, everybody is looking at you and they judge you for how you look and how you act and how you carry yourself. With a smile, you'll be hired. You'll be hired. You know what I'm saying? This is what's it? Hold on, I got a question, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Question, question. What's your name, bro? Ashley. Ashley. Come on, I can't. I can't hear. I got people talking back here, Mr. Ashley. They disrespect you. These smart middle school people over here. These smart, these smart guys over here. I can't hear. <laughs> okay, his question was if he show up question that's a great question to the police station, my station, my station or just in general, police station. Could he okay in general, could he get a job? Can somebody help him? Because Raise your hand. Raise your hand, y'all smart. Let's go with you. Because your age, no, but because your appearance, yeah. Okay. Okay, we are not even gonna worry about that. So right now, you come. Can I? You looking good? Hey, I'm here, and I'm trying to find a job. Right? That's you. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, you gotta go through. You asking? Are you gonna get that job right then? No. <laughs> but you're asking. Can y'all have an application I can fill out? I'm interested in the Houston Police being an officer. Where can I go and fill out a what? Wait, application. Application. Waiver. But I mean, you can't right now because you're age. Yeah, he said another. Well, when I'm talking about four, he's okay. He's got 20 up. But resume, he said that. Y'all got to have resume. Who raised your hand resume? Who had a job? I got a job. <laughs> Y'all jobs? Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah, brother, anybody got any questions? That was a good question, though. That's a good question. But at the same time, you still want to give them that. Oh, I didn't even think you was a kid. You dress so appropriate. Got a nice smile. They don't work. They probably, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. So, Ashton. Okay, Ashton is different. He say age don't matter for him, so he can walk in and give me the job. I'm 15, 13, I want to get this job. Right. Anybody got any other questions? Yeah. I mean, no. I said just Yeah, he just said hey. Oh, yeah, it's all He said him. So look, goals, goals. So what what, what people want to be, is that, is that all this? That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, 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 rhyming, rhyming, being, being. So, homeless outreach, that's what I do. Kids, I talk to kids, I go everywhere. I, I travel, I go, because I want to impact. I want to see y'all make it. I want to see y'all graduate. What grade are we going to next year? Eight. 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 Who said nine? My boy said nine? Good. Oh, oh. Eight grade. Eight. That's awesome. Yeah. Y'all getting up there after eight is what? Nine. Nine. Which is? Nine. Exactly. 
So we have to really be, y'all got to understand, each grade underneath y'all over there, who's looking at y'all? Exactly. The younger kids are looking at y'all, looking at you. How you carry yourself? How you doing? I want to be like her. I want to be like him. I want to be like him. I want to be like her. I want to be like that. I want, that's how they are. Because when I was growing up, they wanted to be like me and play basketball. My sister did exactly everything I've done. Everything. He can, Mrs. Davis can tell you about this. She did everything I've done. She followed my footsteps. So you might have somebody. Who got sisters and brothers in there? Siblings. Who look? Do they look up to y'all? No. No. But guess what? When you think they're not, some of y'all, they are. They look at y'all because y'all the only person that's there with them that's messing with them and playing with them. You the big sister, big brother. You the big sister, big brother. So if, after y'all leave and go out there to that real world, guys, I know y'all in the classroom, y'all don't see what I see every day. Like I said, yesterday was a homicide. Today was people on the side of the street. Have y'all ever seen somebody that's just standing up like this on the side of the street? Yeah. What y'all think wrong with this person? They can't move. Why they can't move? Because they're not. Your spine is poor. You sick. Who? Why is it like this? And he swings. Why? He said, it's drugs. It's drugs. Drugs is bad. Drugs is why a lot of my kids y'all age on the streets. Don't care about life no more. That's another thing y'all gotta look for. When y'all going through y'all life, you over there waving, hey, I'm over here. I'm over here. You gonna miss him. Don't be like, oh, that officer just told me before I'm going in. He just told me about that. He just told me. But I wasn't listening. Y'all gonna go through obstacles through y'all life. Have y'all been through challenges already? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Who got in trouble? Who, who's not doing good? As, hey, okay, you see? Well, what you gonna do about it? You gonna keep being in trouble? You gonna keep being in the class, gonna keep doing whatever you wanna do? Or you gonna do whatever it takes? Or you gonna set yourself aside some other, some great people and say, hey, this is what I wanna be. I'm gonna stop all the games and I'm gonna be what I wanna be when I grow up. Cause if you, Yo, go on, clap it up. Go on, clap it up. I know I did that. I know I did that. You gonna be what you want to be. And I'm glad you you raised your hand. Who else like that? Who else like you know? I'm I'm, I'm borderline with my grades. I need to do better. Who is that? You my man over there? It's okay. It's okay. Who else raise your hand? Ask him. What? Ask my boy, my police officer. Ask him. Y'all man, listen. Y'all go in there. Y'all pick up y'all grades. Pick up y'all grades. That's serious. And if y'all play sports in the back, yeah, y'all should know better. No pass, no work. No play. It's student. It's called student work. It's called student work. Student work. Come on, sports. Come on, come on, sports. It's another word. Come on. It's another word that goes behind student. Athletic. No, student athlete. There you go. Oh, student. What is what is my sports people? Listen, athlete. listen, girl. What does that mean, sports people? Student athlete. What is that? What is the I definition? Right here, student. You're an athlete. I gotta have one my sport. One person, my sports. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, that you a student. You a student and an athlete. What that mean? Like you gotta, you gotta. You gotta like manage your school at the same time and like work and yeah, school at the same time like, yeah. doing sports. All right, so it's what first? Oh, school. School. Okay, so exactly. So education is first. Education is first. That comes before athlete. So even even if you do get a scholarship, which that y'all gonna get, remember if you don't, as long as you get a full ride. Don't worry about it if you don't play no more. You got that what? Scholarship. The scholarship, exactly. Uh, look, we're going to wrap it up, y'all. Listen. Anytime y'all need me to come over here and talk to y'all, like or if y'all got a one-on-one, -on -one, just let the teacher know. Let them know that I'll be over here to talk to y'all. Look, I got so much stuff that I would love to help y'all with. You know, I do a lot of stuff in the community. Y'all can Google me on the internet. <laughs> Whatever. We got a third good deeds. That's my nonprofit. I got a
clothing brand that's called whatever it takes because that's all I focus on. Like I told you, doing whatever it takes in life to get you your attitude, get your stuff together. Okay? Anything y'all need help with, you call on me. You ain't got to call now on. <laughs>